everyone, welcome to Interview Pro. In our previous video, we explored how to reuse workflows to eliminate duplicate code and uphold dry principle. I also discussed that the reusable workflow can be created in either within the same repository or in a separate repository. In that session, we focused on creating workflows within the same repository. Now, let's look into how to create a reusable workflow in a separate repository. In the interest of time, I have already created a repository named Build, Deploy, Angular. The repository for reusable workflow is identical to that of the regular repository. We create a folder called .github which contains a subfolder workflows. In the previous session, we created a reusable workflow, reusable build deploy angular.yml and I used this in build-angular.yml. So I used users keyword and provided the path to this reusable workflow. Since this uh, reusable workflow was in the same repository, we didn't need to specify the branch name in the reference. For this example, where we want to create a reusable workflow in a separate repository, I moved this uh, workflow to this repository. This is the exact copy of the previous workflow. Now let's delete this workflow from the current repository. And update the reference to workflow in build angular dot yml so when your uh, reusable workflow is in a separate repository you have to start with the organization followed by the repository name followed by the path to the workflow so let me make changes here organization name which is interview pro org slash build deploy angular which is the name of the repository inside this repository we have a dot github folder which has workflows folder followed by the reusable workflow name. Because this is in a different uh, repository, we have to provide the reference to the branch or if you create a tag to maintain versions, then you can provide versions as well. Now I'll be using a branch name. So let's commit the change and see if it works. Let's click on view runs and it says uh, the workflow has failed. Let's see the error. Uh, the error is workflow was not found. So let's go to this repository and look at the settings once. Uh, first, make sure that your repository is uh, public. So I'll change this to public. I have read and marked this repository public. Now let me go back and uh, run the workflow again. Let me trigger it manually this time. Now it should work because we made the repository public and it should be visible to this workflow. Let me refresh. Yes, now we can see that the workflow is triggered and uh, if I open the setup job, I can see that uh, the, it's referencing the workflow that we created inside build deploy angular repository. So uh, if you face any issues with the access, just uh, go to the settings in the main repository first and you will see a section called actions and general. I have enabled, uh, so by default it might be allow all actions and reusable workflows, but I have enabled this setting where I want to allow interview pro org workflows and I want to select if I want to use any workflows that are outside my organization and also I want to specify the, I want to use the actions created by GitHub and verified creators. Also the custom uh, work actions or workflows, uh, I can mention them here. Then make sure that your repository has permissions, uh, that your workflow has permissions to read repository contains and uh, package permissions in case your workflow is trying to update or modify something in this repository. So with this settings, you should be able to run the workflow using a reusable workflow that is created in a separate repository. I hope the content is clear. If you have any issues with the access uh, uh, related to reusable workflows, please let me know in the comment section. Also, don't forget to like, share and hit the subscribe button. Thank you.